Isaiah, what does it mean to, I mean, you know, everybody's seen that four or five stars, but you're here at the On3 Elite Series, yeah. one of the 50 dudes they picked out. What does that mean? What does that feel like? Oh, it feels amazing to me, you know what I'm saying? I just, actually, I just got named the five stars, so I feel it's just overall, I feel like amazing. It's amazing. It, I feel like it's an amazing environment, too. It so, is. yeah. It is, man. Uh, for you, um, how did it come about picking, I guess, the, the schools? I'm sure you've got mail since you were in ninth grade, man. How do you end up going from 100 schools mailing you stuff to figuring out maybe 10 and then going down from there? Um, you really just, like, over the time, you really just look at how, how you want to be developed, really the system that you want to be in, just the, everything, the criteria, the life outside of football, the coaches, the players. It's just, it's just really a feel of everything. Because I've been, I would say I've been on probably – Upwards to about 40 to 50 visits, so I was done seeing about everything. So, yeah. Tallahassee, what was it about Tallahassee that, that keeps them maybe in the, in the race for you? Are they in the race for you? Yes, I would say for sure. I would say the the coaches that keep me in the race, I would say Coach Norvell for number one for sure. Coach Full, I was no, I would say it's top for number one. Coach Fuller and Coach Norvell for number one, and I would say Odell, and then Coach Odell, and then uh, Coach JP for sure. They keep me in. You're the first kid that's listed. Like most guys are, like our, the head coach and the position coach. Yeah. For you, it's like the like the whole staff all yeah. those stuff. What is it about those guys that you've developed that relationship? Uh, I would say just the overall feel of them for sure. The personalities that they have, they all have different personalities. They're all different. So and they all they coach in certain ways. And yeah, I would well, say that for sure. So what, what makes Florida State different? I guess the, you got all these other great schools, obviously for sure. You what, what what makes Florida State maybe different than some of the other schools? You've I would say the tradition for us, honestly, um, this is the the things that Coach Norvell has done to perfect the. I won't say perfect the program because nobody's perfect, but the things that he's done to, I would say, necessarily change the program, to just make the program better on both sides of the football. You know what I'm saying? The things that he's done is just amazing. Are they getting an official visit? Yeah, I'll uh, visit, I'll tell my OV. Um, what's that? The game that they played Clemson. I don't remember the exact date, but it'll be oh. during the fall. Okay, you're going to make it in this case? Yeah. Okay, cool. So for you, do you have a decision kind of like, I don't want to give you a firm date, but do you know yeah. kind of how you want this to work out? Yeah, uh, I wanted to just make my final decision of everything on signing day, but anything happened. Okay. Um, Clemson game is going to be probably good when we come yeah. see. A lot of guys want to get this stuff done before their senior year starts, yeah. but it's like, well, what if a team doesn't look good this, this coming yeah. season? For you, why do you want to wait like another football season to see how? Uh, because I feel like anything can change. You know what I'm saying? Coach, uh, coaches leave a lot. You know what I'm saying? Coaches, I feel like coaches change every year it, it, on each coaching staff. No matter what school you go to, just the overall change. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to go somewhere if the the person had this. I would, I would say, don't go somewhere for a relationship that you have with a coach, go somewhere because you want to go there without the coach. That's how I look at it, so yeah. Does Florida State have that? Yeah, I would say they do. To you? Yes. Um, do you have a list? Like, could, can you rank the teams? I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. Could you, could you rank, I guess, the teams that are in your mind? Um, I, This is no order. Okay, no order. Okay, but I would say UGA, Florida, Florida State, Tennessee, South Carolina, um, Oklahoma, Oregon, Texas, and yeah, Southern Cal. Uh, are you gonna officially visit all those schools? Uh, I have everybody playing. I think I just said other than Southern Cal. Okay. Um, what do you want to see on, on an official visit to Tallahassee? Um, I honestly don't know what's that. Whatever is offered to me, you know what I'm saying. I feel like Tallahassee is just a great city overall. You know, it's the capital of Florida. Thing, right? I want to say, yeah, it's, yeah, I, I don't know, I had to do right, but um, just the overall feel of it, I feel like it's amazing, you know what I'm saying? The environment of it, the players, the coaching, everything that they have is just amazing. So, yeah, do you have like questions that, that you, you need to answer? Them? Like, if you go on that official visit to Florida State, it can help maybe push them to some other schools? Oh, yeah, I would say a little bit of questions. So, yeah, yeah, I would say a little bit. What are the things that are in your mind when it comes to wanting to figure things out so you know whether or not that would be a good fit for us? Um. I would say just the why of why everybody does what they do, like the way they do it. I just want to, I know why Coach Norville does it, but I just want to like the overall staff. So yeah. What about? It seems like you know he, his whole thing is climb, mm -hmm. and every letter means something. And yeah. I think the B's brotherhood, and you know he brings in these transfers, but they they they, they buy in, they love the hell out of each other. Yeah. It seems like for you, do, do you ever sense that five from four? Say how important is it to have a, a locker room that everybody loves each other? Uh, I would say it's big. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like. 
a team cannot function without player connectivity, you know what I'm saying? Like, players have to connect, they have to be on the same page. Everybody, like, for you to win in football, everybody has to be on the same page. It can't be just a certain group or a certain position or anything. Everybody has to be on the same page because at the end of the day, everybody wants one goal and that's to win the national championship. So, yeah. How often do you communicate with Coach? Um, I know I just talked to Coach JP last week. Um, I could call, I could probably call Coach Norville right now. He'll probably answer the phone. But I haven't, I haven't talked to him in about three weeks. But we, we can talk anytime we need to. So yeah. we have a very strong relationship. Yes. Is that the same with most other coaching staffs, or just for say maybe a little bit of a stronger relationship? And I would say it's like a couple schools have stronger than others. So yeah. Um, how is that? Like, do you want to be called and texted every single day, or do you just want to be like, hey, like, I'm good. Uh, Talk to you in a week or whatever. I mean, I don't really have a preference. I mean, as long as I'm not busy, because I usually go to, I usually get home from school at about seven, seven thirty, and then I go to sleep about eight thirty. Really? Yeah, really? Yeah, I go to, I go, you? I go to sleep very early. I, I prize my sleep. So. Hey man, it's the single most important thing for yeah. an athlete. It really is. Um, you know, this is a very educational weekend for you guys. You're gonna be hearing from all sorts of people in different lines of work when it comes to college sports. When it comes yeah. to NIL. Is that something that you want to have communication with a program, or is that something you just want your, your family and the people outside, like, hey, you, you guys handle that, and I'll, I'll trust you, or do you want to be involved in knowing what's going on? I would say I want to be involved in what's going on, because I, I would say I'm pretty good with stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, money-wise, I would say I'm pretty good with things, so yeah. Can you tell, like, you hear all these things, like, when you're talking to these people, can you can you see through who's telling you legitimate stuff when it comes to this or what we can? Yeah, you can. You can I'm, I, I'm a very good observer, so I say I can I can feel what, what sounds good and what just what people say. Okay. All right, a few uh, last questions here. So, will all your officials be during during the football season? Will you want to, you want to officially visit all these schools during a football game weekend, or will you be doing some? In July and August before the season starts. Uh, mostly it'll probably be like during before again, like after a game or something. So yeah, that the night after a game. Could you could you shut it all down early? Like if you go to one of these schools, like in September to a game weekend, you're like I feel it, like I'm done. Yeah. Or do you, are you gonna make sure you go and visit everybody before you make this? I feel like anything else, and go one way or the other. It might ha it might can't happen like that, but I feel like at the same time it probably can't happen another way. Can you do you think you can? Describe why you're going to pick, where you're going to pick. Or do you know what's going to be the stuff that's going to lead you to pick this one? Uh, yes, I would say the life outside of football. For I would say that's not number one because I feel like every school can develop you in a way that you want to be developed. That's just your. I feel like that's your choice. But um, I would say life outside of football. I mean, I'm boring, but I don't want to be in. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. Yeah. But um, I would say that for sure. And the overall feel, the entire staff, like who the players was. Like, I, like when I get on visits, I try to get close to players and see how everybody feels about the, how they feel in the environment. You know what I'm saying? If they're pushing each other, if they're lacking or anything. It's, 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 stuff, it's stuff like that. I would say that would be the, uh, the side effect for sure. Norvell's is a big part of what he wants when you guys come visit. Like he's just like, hey man, like I'll, he's gonna give you the pitch or whatever, like yeah. any other coach. But he wants you to talk to the players. Yeah, he'll, he'll. I would say. Coach Norrell would get on to you if you're not, if you, like, I know one time he told me, well, I know, I know he was being for real, but he told me he would cuss me out if I didn't, yeah, but I just, that's the type of coach that I would like, because, you know what I'm saying, you're always engaged, you're always doing something, you're always doing something to get better, always learning something, I had to tell him three things that I learned, but that's, that's just the factor of just wanting to be better and wanting to have a better relationship with the coach that you have. Is, is there a level of realness when a coach is like, I want you to talk to the player? Yeah, I would say that for sure. It just, I would say, con it, he has to have confidence to do it. He, like, Coach Norbert has a top-notch amount of confidence, you know what I'm saying? He can streams at 5 in the morning. So I would say he has, like, a top, mo like, a, a high radar of confidence, I would say for sure. So, yeah. Geography going to play a factor in what you do? Uh, not necessarily. I wouldn't say that necessarily. No, nah, I wouldn't say so. Sure, you don't want to rank the teams? I, I can, it's like a, it's like a tie a little bit, but I can rank them, I guess. Okay. Um, I would say UGA, Florida, Tennessee, Oklahoma, South Carolina, um, Oregon, Texas, and Auburn.
Yeah. I think that I don't think that's the right order. No, all right. I guess that's a tough one. You, yeah. You didn't even say Florida State, and you're wearing a Southern Cal sweater ten minutes ago. You didn't say Southern Cal, Isaiah. Yeah. It's all right. Man. Anyway, I really appreciate the time, man. No problem. Appreciate. Best of luck you this upcoming season. Yes, sir. Appreciate it.